Hey everybody, welcome back to Team Brothership. I'm your host, Mike, and we are back in episode three of my uh, Castlevania Aria of Sorrow Let's Play. Um, I've already totally... <laughs> It's only been a week, but I've completely forgotten where we are, what we're doing. I know I remember that I was I was going to go explore the upper part of the castle here, because there's a few few rooms that we didn't get to, um, so we'll do that. And then there's a few other... Um, yeah, I should not back off with these things. I should just go at them. Um, there's a few others that we haven't interacted with yet. There's some sections kind of down basically like right below us um yeah we'll, we'll just do some poking around today i'm sure we'll find enough of interest um it's a lot over here actually oh it's witches whoa hey there fireball lady oh i did finally whoa i don't want to get hit with that um, I did finally figure out how to turn off that annoying, um, you know what, I'm gonna go back this way for a second, that annoying, like, pop-up of the soul indicator. I mean, it uh, said annoying, it was actually, it's sort of useful that it's there, so we know who's, um, what enemy souls we've gotten. It's sort of a quality of life thing, but, oh. um, but, just, <laughs> uh oh Oh, this thing drains our health. I remember these are annoying. Um. I think there might be a few more of them running around. Oh, a scarf. Ah. Really? Just a dead end? I wonder if there's a hole we can get through, but we'll worry about that later. All right, back this way. Um, yeah, this isn't like a super long game or anything. We're probably... Uh, actually, you know what, because that... Probably like... Halfway through, maybe a third way through. Ooh. He just jump kicked me in the face. That's not very polite. Yeah, it looks like that's just a potion. Um, oh boy. Um, I do kind of miss the peeping eye. <laughs> I also miss, I, I don't know if you noticed, but he can't really do like, Alucard used to be able to do like a down, ooh. I, please let me get that. Um, check out what that one is, that looked kind of cool. Um, Alucard used to be able to do, like, sort of, yeah, nothing, junk. Sort of like a, a diagonal downward slash. I think just the nature of the controls in this game, so I can't really do that, which is not a crippling problem, but it does make it a little difficult to check the floors for holes or things. False walls. Yeah, I missed the peeping eye a little bit, but not not enough to give up the huge strength boost that the uh, the Minotaur Soul grants us. I think this is probably just connecting back to... Let's see... Oh, yeah, it just loops right in there. Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Just wasting all of your time just meandering around doing nothing. It's gonna be a good episode, I can... <laughs> I can promise you that. Um, alright, let's just check a few more connections, and then we will... Um, we're gonna proceed down to that lower area. Actually, I say we're gonna do that, but I I don't think we have the ability to get through. Oop. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, I don't think we have the ability to get through there yet. 
Ooh, what was that? Oh, melon. I thought she dropped corn or something. <laughs> um, it doesn't even say what the melon does. It gives some kind of a hit point boost, I'm sure, but... Top floor. All right. Um, yeah, this gets tricky, and there is... Just passing right through, I guess, into this area. All right, we'll cut through, hop over to that other area, because we don't have a way to go directly up yet. We still need a few more power-ups. Um, we need to... I we can go that way. Um, like Symphony... I mean, Symphony... Yeah, like Symphony, there there is a... Oh, we can't go back that way. Hmm. Okay. It's over there. Yeah, must have been an item or something I missed. We'll deal with that later, because I'm not going all the way over there on camera. Um, there is a bad ending that you can get, and it's... I feel like it's a little bit easier to get the bad ending in... The, well... It's just that I know Symphony so well. Um, if you don't... There's a boss that's coming up in a little while where if you don't have the right gear prepped, um, you go, you beat him and just go right into the bad ending. Uh, I walked right through that guy. I don't think we're quite at the point of fighting him yet. I think there's a few other things that we have to do first. Um, oops. That was easy. Alright, let's... Oop. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, can we... Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I guess we should have just started. Should I just restart the episode? <laughs> Go back to where we needed to be? Um... Oops. Oh. Oh. I can do that? I... I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, that might open up some possibilities. <laughs> do a slide. When did I get that ability? Alright, well, that's good to know. Um, uh, we're so far away from teleporters. I'm sorry, everybody. I really didn't want this to turn into one of those kind of episodes, but... Uh, it's looking like it might. <laughs> I need to get down to that teleporter. Oh, but that's going to be a while. All right. Sorry, everyone. Let me pause for a second while I just, like, write the ship. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're back here where we can do some exploring. Um, I used that Undyne Soul so I can walk on, on water. Um, which will let me go up here a little bit. Put the Minotaur back on, though. Yeah, so it says we've explored about 40% of the castle. That sounds about right. Yeah, sorry. That was a weird throw. Alright, new area. New area, right? Gotta be. Gotta be a new area. Um, yeah, there's... The floating garden. Sounds kind of like a Studio Ghibli movie, actually. Uh oh Oh, whoa. There we go. Um, it's funny, I know, having played this before, like, how strong we're going to get, that those things are going to be like a, like a joke. Uh, those things are always going to be annoying, though. All right, let's go back this way and use the platform. Can we use this guy? Yes. Get up there. Do a little... A little shuffling around. Oh, lost my money. Um, yeah, we're making good progress. We'll make okay. Ooh, that looks like a weapon. No, castle map. So with that, oh, <laughs> that's helpful. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I got it. Is this? This doesn't. I remember this isn't the game the I think it's dawn that ends with the um oh actually there, 
there are some weirdnesses here, aren't there? Ah, get, get up there for Christ's sake. Okay, this is getting frustrating. There we go. Don't fall back down. There we go. Oh. Well, that's not very helpful. It is definitely, like, as much as I like this game... Oops. You... Ah, oh, crap. You definitely have to go, though. These things are kind of one of the worst enemies in Symphony. Here, they're marginally less of a problem. Um, it is definitely, as much as I like this game, the GBA factor of it, and I, and I love the Game Boy Advance, too. I shouldn't, I'm not trying to rag on the Game Boy Advance, but, um, get some experience by killing that guy through the wall. Um, oh, dropped a really good item that we can't get. I mean, it's gonna be gone. Even by the time we get over there, it would have disappeared. Golden Crow. Red Crow. Hmm, do I want to... Yeah, I can probably make that jump. Yeah, look at that. The little hover thing. Um, we want to keep our eyes peeled for... Oh. Okay, so it is doing this weird thing. The end of Dawn of Sorrow has... Whoa. That looked scarier than it was. <laughs> uh, the end of Dawn of Sorrow has some bits where you get teleported around to different rooms. Like, you're, you'll go through a door and it'll look like you should be going in one direction, but you end up going in a different direction. Um, and it's kind of neat. This is not as cool. Sorry, game. It's not. Uh, okay. That's a lot of nothing. I think there's... A, yeah. The dead warrior. <laughs> the, uh... The off... They're kind of like the off-brand versions of the... Did he blow up? There you go. Okay. <laughs> sort of like the off-brand versions of the Valhalla Knights from... Um... Symphony of the Night. Yeah, we'll have to go through all of these towers. Ooh. That was dumb. All right. There we go. Woo! Get back here. These guys are always pretty annoying until we're strong enough that we can just kill them in one shot. Yeah, so I think the boss is uh, one of these upper... Ooh, money bags. Uh, one of these upper towers is the boss. Nice. I do... I, I, as much as I miss my whip sword, this, um, this poison sword is really getting the job done. Yeah, so what I was saying about the GBA factor, like, there are definitely things that look... Like, the background and the foreground are slightly tricky to differentiate sometimes. Like, it, it doesn't really look like you should be able to stand on that platform. Uh, where there are some other things that look like you should be able to just walk right through them without an issue, but... There are issues. Lots of issues. Um, that hurt a lot. The Mandragora. Um, I think that's the only one in the game that does that. I'm taking a little bit of a beating. I should probably at some point... This isn't a very hard game, but I, I should probably... Oh, alright. No, they, they got Fleeman. 
summons and hurls eagles. Got two of them now. Hmm. Um, not a boss. Uh, let's go back this way. Ah, crap. It's gonna do this stupid thing. Ugh. I forgot about this. Werewolf. There, wolf. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that was a little messy. I forgot that these things... Alright, so now we're going to have to make another full lap of this stupid thing again. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I thought this was going to be, like, a fun episode. Um... Those take about five for us to put down. Jesus. We gotta watch out for more of those big demons. They hit pretty hard, too. Do I try? Actually, you know what we could possibly do? Okay, that works. You can kind of just like, <laughs> like jump between them. Oh, don't bring me back up. Oh, oh, the super skeleton. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. He's kind of funny. Uh, where did that go into? Let's go over here for a second. I think we want to go that way because I'm kind of remember. Yes, okay. There is, if I'm remembering correctly, there is a boss right below us who is actually kind of tricky. So, ooh, hard. I'm actually gonna go back and refill those hit points because I, like I said, I the boss below us is a little bit of a challenge, if I'm remembering correctly. <sighs> Alright, never mind. We're just doing this. Um, let me check my soul set, though. I do like this, the... What is the zombie soldier? Hand grenade 14. Oh, I did get a tiny devil. Uh, soul. Oh, it's not going to let me do that. That's annoying. Okay. So I guess we're not fighting this boss then. Oh, jeez. Okay. This complicates things even further then. Ugh. <sighs> That was a pretty dope uh, spread shot attack, though. I might hold on to this one. All right, we're going back to finish exploring the rest of this area then. Um, oh god, they're throwing knives. That's so dangerous. Where did this take us? Okay. Ooh. So he dropped the knife throwing. I mean, that might be a slightly different version of the, the throwing knife. Um, okay. Let us... Oh, Jesus. Does a little shout, too. Okay. Ooh, what is that? Iron plate. That's probably... No, that's going to be worse. <laughs> If I know anything about metallurgy, steel is better than iron. I'm sorry, iron, that's just the way it goes. We're getting a ton of money doing this chunk of the castle, though. Um, although, sadly, it's all for naught, because we're not going to be able to um, get through that, that darkness field. Oh, hey, look, it's this guy again. Ooh. 
You know you're nearing the end of the game when the bosses become regular enemies. bit more to go in this area uh, and since we can't do that boss yet I guess we're gonna leave and find someplace else to go where haven't we finished exploring and there's a whole chunk kind of All right, we haven't totally done this area yet because I kind of skipped around um, no, it's one of these things again I feel like I remember those guys having really good soul powers, so I'd, I'd like to get one of those, but I'm not going to bother doing it right now. I think... I think this loops... Whoa, hi. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is bad. Stop doing that. Right, we need to be able to get closer to this guy. He's positioned very badly, and he really did a number on us. Um, this pops us back in here. Okay. There's a way that you can kind of... We'll worry about that later. Let's finish exploring this area. Got him. All right, let's finish exploring this area, and then I guess we'll just go back. <laughs> Good times. Good times. Stairs. I don't need to do that. Um. Yeah. Where do we want to go? Let's let's try to push all the way to the right. on this part yet. Um, where did you go? Did we kill that thing? Yes. There we go. Ooh. I must have hit him twice with it. Alright, that cleared out down here. Is this an item? A save room? I mean, that's fine. Yeah, the the... It's not particularly hard to get the good ending for this game. It is a little obtuse, I'll say. Back here. I want to go up there. Just poke around for a second. But I think we have to go back. I think we've made a boo-boo by going this way. Um... Let's try, let's finish looping around here and then let's try going to the right. Ah, damn it. Is that, oh, there's a little bit more upstairs that we can go to. We are still dealing, like, a tremendous amount of damage to these enemies, so that's a plus. Alright, I'm gonna pause it again, because I think we gotta loop in a slightly different direction. Yeah. Alright. Sorry. 
Okay, I decided to go back to the um, the front gate just to check in with our team. Um, and Mina does have extra things to to add. Uh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> All right, so we need scuba gear because <laughs> obviously these lower sections you can only access by going through water. Um, Joke's on me. I don't remember where the scuba gear is. <laughs> Sorry, everyone who's uh, tuning in. Well, let's just check our... What we got for weapons? That's only one more, and I think it's... I think that's going to be like a, an overhead swing, though. Selling anything decent? No, we're still doing better. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna go check one other thing. Well, this is as good a time as any to jump back in. So <laughs> I just uh, got one of the souls of those student witches, which gave me the ability to throw lethal cats. Okay, ancient book one. I I had to have not had that sliding ability. I can't. I cannot imagine that I so shamefully missed out on that, but let me, um... What does the ancient book do? I think that... That might be something that, like... Yeah, it's not a... Not a thing that I can equip. Um... Okay, yes. This is, like, a tip thing. Um, so it's telling you the three abilities that you need to get to get the real ending, um, which I believe, I think this one is the big green guy that we just fought recently in the floating garden. Okay, this is getting us into another area. Christ. No! Ah. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. This stupid episode. I'm just going to call this episode, Oops, Terrible Let's Play. All right, hold on one second again. Okay, jeez. All right. <laughs> no! Oh, God. So, yeah, I, I had kind of remembered this. I had sort of been talking about it. The, those, the floating garden is all wacky. Like you, The rooms are all detached, so you can go into one and out of the other. Um... So we had not tried all of the exits, and now we are in the clock tower. Oh boy. It's this guy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hmm. That one time we met, you didn't say anything mean or try to kill me. You're my best friend. <laughs> Uh-oh. Why'd you say that? That was a weird way to phrase things. That's what I say after eating a lot of uh, Korean barbecue. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Got sort of a silly run animation. All right. Well, we're in the clock tower now, and everybody knows what that means. It's the best part of the game, where everyone has fun and there's never any pro- Oh, Jesus, there's already big friggin' spikes on the wall. No, okay, don't power slide into the spikes. I was trying to drop down through the gear. Oh boy. I was, um, I started this Let's Play a little bit earlier in the day, because I, oh no. Oh no, it's an electric doll. The worst kind. Lightning doll. 
Ooh, all right. There we go. All right. I want that guy to drop his soul, though. All right, I'm not even going to bother trying to deal with that guy. That's going to wind up getting electrocuted and thrown into spikes. Oh, hey, it's you. <laughs> Hi to yourself. Oh, no. Yeah, she's trying to kill Graham. <laughs> he seemed like he'd been eating a lot of Taco Bell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you think? Yeah, that one two-minute interaction I had with him didn't reveal his entire uh, character to me. <laughs> You're breaking all this stuff. You definitely do, Soma, but, uh... Oh boy, this is a very chatty Castlevania, like I've mentioned. she's a, a good one because her uh oh ah, that was stupid i should have seen that coming <laughs> i was literally like hey there's blood on the floor there oh that's a real uh dark soul style trap um but it's jeez oh, hey you Those guys have a really good soul that we kind of want to get. Oh, this room's important to remember. I wish... Wow. We're not, uh... We're suddenly not packing quite the punch we were a little while ago. <clears throat> um, yeah, the... The boss here is no joke, so... Come on, get back over here. Can't wander off the map. It's breaking the rules. Yeah, we might need to find some better weapons here, or like, gear up in some way. Oh, this thing. It's awake. After that guy, though, that's gonna be a mess. We're still killing them pretty easily, at least. In, um... The Medusa heads are kind of the... Well, wasn't much to him. Ah! The Medusa heads are classic Castlevania enemies, as I'm, I'm sure you've realized by this point, even if you haven't played any of the Castlevania games. Um, I don't think their soul is a particularly awesome drop, though. Um, I am going to try to get over here, though. I do want that money. Ah. Ooh. This is not ideal. Boilers. Okay. Yeah, I kind of... <laughs> I see always up in the corner there like that. I did want to try to gain some levels here, but... Uh, because I think I'm slightly under-leveled. Actually, let's go back that way for a second. I do think we 
want to go up, ultimately. Oh, look, it's our friend the boss again. We're dealing quite a bit more damage this time, though. Um... for a second. I'm sorry, I'm equivocating a lot, uh, but it'll all be worth it once we actually accomplish something in this episode. Ooh, he stepped on me. It's very rude. He didn't even apologize. Um, what I was saying earlier, ugh, I started this <laughs> recording earlier in the day because I... I didn't want my uh, my cats to get all worked up while we were recording, but regrettably, uh, because of our delay, since I couldn't figure out what the hell I was doing. Oh, all right, let's go this way for a second. We do have to. I, I promise I will take out at least one boss um, in this episode. Definitely need to come in from the other direction. Okay. What level am I? 20. That feels low. Oh, we have a lot of money, though. That's good. Corridor of naked bird ladies. The kittens are growing restless. Yeah, they somehow, despite my best efforts, I always end up recording right around their dinner time. Which, I mean... They, ah, right in the back. I mean, they can certainly wait, but uh, they, get, they get rowdy. Ah, come on! There we go. I'm taking a little bit of a beating here. Ooh, there's the boss right there. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, this guy's this guy's kind of tough. Um, I guess we'll see if we're leveled up or not. I wonder who this could be. Okay, damage, so. Oh, he's gonna, gonna go Super Saiyan on us. Ooh, okay. Wow. Alright. That was a. That was quite a pounding. Um, I did buy a few extra potions. Um. Almighty. Wow, we're not going to be able to beat this guy right now. Holy shoot. like a little bit of a difficulty spike. Come on. Do 
Wow. Okay. Uh, tasty meat. Oh, wow. I'm glad I found those. Wow, okay. That was, uh... <laughs> that was a lot harder than I remember it being. Oh, we got that. That's cool, I guess. Damn. I'm gonna go farm some of those, uh, those melons. Those were definitely <laughs> immediately retreating back to the same point. No hesitation. Cripes. Yeah, he hit really hard. All right, well, remind me next time I'm out at the, uh... We didn't really use that much, like, that we can't get back easily. Next time I'm at the... There we go. There we are. All right, finally. Jeez. I'm just gonna stand here and stare. Pose. Um, that's pretty important. We're gonna have to walk all the way back, though. <sighs> no, because they're... Oh, but that was, like, way... That was pretty far back. Um... Alright, I'm gonna pause again while I backtrack a little bit, but there was a water section I remember that we can use, so... Yeah, jeez, that was quite the difficulty spike. Alright, this should be able to get us somewhere. So, what was that? Yeah, I'll have to just remember once I go back to the front of the castle. Um, what was that? Skulla. Uh, which I think is in this translation of Skilla. Whoa! Let's look around here for a second. Um, is there another one? Oh god, they're fighting. Everybody's fighting. <sighs> Alright, let's try this way first. Probably the wrong way. Um, yeah, I do have to remember when I go back to the front of the castle to buy a whole bunch of potions, because we used up all of ours. storage or something in here. That's where we stall our, <laughs> store all our weird little wooden guys. Ugh. Oops. Oh, this feels like the wrong way. The, um, the Valkyrie in this game looks very much like, um, like Lanneth from Valkyrie Profile, which is kind of funny. I did get the Medusa Soul. Uh, oh, that's good. Let's see if this is a safe point, though. Which was something like allow... allow you to stop in midair or something like that. Is this... This is going to connect right over to here, which I don't actually want to go this way yet. But that's okay. That's That means we found our, our dead end. Don't walk into those. I don't know if these things actually drop a soul or if they're just like... They're considered more... Ugh, frig. All right, never mind. <laughs> just ignoring this guy. Position badly. Lightning doll! You conduct electricity. Surprising no one. Yeah, the uh, the Valkyrie definitely looks a lot like Leneth, which I'm gonna assume is deliberate. I mean, it's okay, like, to do a little homage. Valkyrie Profile is a pretty awesome game, so. Right, where's that demon? Uh, also need to equip this for a second. Oh, he does have a thing. Tosses mines into the air. 
fire that exploded fixed intervals. Okay. And I want to be able to take this guy out quickly. That wasn't too bad. I do need to get back to a save point soon, though. Their storage room, I guess. No, it just adds to the castle completion percentage. Ah! There we go. Yeah, getting a little beat up. I don't want to have to use any items, like. this way. There's definitely something. No! Oh, crap. Yeah, we're definitely using some items here. Burtang, that better be worth it. <laughs> that's gonna be like a weird... Oh no, okay, that's a good swing. Alright, uh, I don't want to die here. <sighs> don't want to use the... Alright, I guess we're using another melon. At least I know what enemies drop those. Alright, this better deal a lot more damage. Ooh, it's nice and fast, too. I like that. Alright. Okay, that was worth it. That was worth an exchange of melon. <sighs> Fun times here. That's what I wanted to avoid. Oh, you're kidding. I gotta go all the way back. Alright, well, that's a good piece of gear, at least, I think. Not really. Oh, I found this while I was wandering around as well. Okay. I'm gonna pause it just while I walk back to the uh, teleport point, because that's what we need. Alright, we're getting some additional dialogue from Hammer, so... Sort of. <laughs> no, that's it. Alright, does he have anything new? Let's buy a few more potions. We've got a ton of money, so... Uh, might as well stock up. Ooh, he, yes, he is selling high potions now. I wish I had bought those instead. But let's see what he's got for gear. We did just find a nice new weapon and piece of armor, so I'm not... Yeah, that's a big overhead weapon. Hmm. <laughs> Breastplate of pure gold. Soul Eater Ring! Oh, that actually is pretty useful. <sighs> I mean, we had enough for that, but... Yeah, I don't really... I mean, it's a nice boost, but none of this stuff is really... I mean, that would be good, but I don't have 14,000. Let's see. What can we possibly... Do we have anything we can sell? I don't think we found too many duplicates. Sell a few of those, but they're not worth anything. Sell a scarf. Yeah. Alright, we'll buy a couple more high potions and we'll just call it a day. Yeah, that should keep us afloat for a while. Let's see what Mina says. She did, I popped my head back out here a few times. She does drop off, uh, I mean drop off, does give you 
Oh. Yeah, she did have a few other messages for us. The sword's nice and fast. I like that. We lose, like I said, a little bit of that splash damage radius, but that's okay. More messages. <laughs> little, little tips. Alright, hold on a second. I'm gonna pause for a minute. Alright, let's see what we got down this pit. I'm sure this will be safe and not at all troubling. Oh, there's gonna be these friggin' things down here, aren't there? That's okay. Alright. Ooh. Oh, this guy. Yikes. Forgot about this thing. It's kind of like a like a Metroid enemy almost is shooting out those rings. So you can repeatedly jump underwater. Um, let's go. Let's go this way. Oh, good. All right. That looks pretty cool. Is that going to be better than the thing Rahab sword we just found? <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, we lose a little bit of a defense. I guess Bertang. It's okay. Let's go around. Let me get trapped in that corner. Oh, all right. We don't have to hit just the eye. We can hit the whole stock. That's cool. Ooh. Man eater <laughs> shoots a ripple laser. He doesn't like a ripple laser. I actually think uh, the ice damage is kind of useful here. Save point. Not save points are for big babies. That looks fun. You didn't like that. Ugh. Hey, get back here. If these guys are like their, uh, Patriots in uh, Symphony, they are particularly weak against uh, ice. There we go, save point. All right. Um, I've been going for about an hour, so I think we will call it here. This was definitely the most chaotic episode so far, um, but I would assume by this point that's part of why you like <laughs> tuning into this channel. Um, Next time will not be as chaotic because there aren't as many places we could possibly go next time. Uh, and there's no more of those, like, trap, uh, not trap, like, trip, er whatever. There aren't any more of those, like, confusingly spaced areas like the floating garden. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in with me. As always, I've been Mike with Team Brothership. Uh, I hope you've been having fun watching this spooky Halloween Castlevania Let's Play as I just get lost in Castlevania forever. So, until next time... Um, I forgot my own sign-off. Until next time, <laughs> I've been Mike with Team Brothership. Uh, have a great week, everybody. I'll see you real soon.